Hello everyone, and welcome to your 91st Cocoa Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, and in the next couple of tutorials, I'm just going to be kind of going through new APIs that were introduced in Big Sur, and I want to just kind of hammer these out within the next week or two, and then we'll jump back into some more advanced tutorials. Uh, but for now, I just want to cover some of the new AppKit APIs that were introduced with Big Sur. Today, we're talking about NS table view and the two main things that were introduced for NS table view were these new styles as well as diffable data sources. And for diffable data sources, I've already gone ahead and just kind of written out all the code. That's because I've already covered diffable data source as it relates to NS collection view and the API is essentially the same. So if you want to know more about diffable data sources, check out that older video and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so the first thing I want to start out with is uh, I've already made this project. If you want this code, check out GitHub, but uh, we've made a view controller and it has uh, this table view here with a single column and a cell that I've already defined. And then there's an insert, remove first and swap style button at the bottom. The first thing I want to cover is just the different styles that NS table view now has in Big Sur. So uh, at the bottom of this code, you can see there are essentially these five different styles that are currently defined. There's an automatic style, there's a full width, an inset, a plane, and a source list. And I'm just going to kind of walk you through what some of those look like. Um, they're not all totally well defined, but you can look in the documentation a little bit just to find maybe where uh, different things are used. But let me go ahead and I'm going to select this first row. And right now I'm on the plain style. So I'm going to go ahead and swap uh, st style. And plain style is pretty much what you've come to expect for NS table view. The selection goes the full width and the cells go the full width. Nothing's really special about any of the padding for the plain style. If I swap, now I'm on the sourceless style. And the sourceless style kind of has this. Um, Tr not transparent, but uh, you know, slightly blur blurred background or um, whatever vibrancy, I guess is the term. And uh, you can see that the selection is sort of this inset selection on the cell itself. And the cell actually gets sort of moved inwards of the entire cell, just, uh, just you know, you can see that it moves inside of uh, the content there. Uh, let me swap again here. Automatic is going to assume where the table view is in the hierarchy. So where it is, if for example, you put it in a split view, uh, the assumption for the automatic is slightly different. So automatic is, you know, the automatic behavior, but if you do need to specify something else, you will want to choose that. So this is automatic in this case. Uh, if I click one more time, this is full width, which looks kind of weird. Uh, the selection is inset uh, so the selection itself is inset but the cell itself is not and so the content is actually uh, kind of floating as if it were plain but the selection of the cell assumes that it is essentially an inset content and um, lastly this is just the inset style the main difference between this and the source list is just that 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 vibrancy background is not there so it has a plain background like all the other table views but you can see it has that inset behavior kind of like source list does all right so those are the different cells uh, cell styles let's talk about diffable data sources so uh, again i've already covered sort of the, um, the the concept of diffable data source in another video but uh, what was introduced for mac os 10 big sur or 11 i guess <laughs> Big Sur, we um, we have this NS table view diffable data source. And just like the NS collection view one, it essentially it allows you to define this data source and you have your model and then you can apply changes to a snapshot and you apply that onto the data source. So here is the main creation of this data source. So you assign this NS table view diffable data source directly to the data source property. And what it does is it has a callback for when it wants to create a cell. So you just use the standard table view creation methods for creating a cell. You say table view, make view, you have your identifier for whatever cell you want to create. And then you customize that using um, the value that is sent in. So in uh, the customization, you're actually given the particular item uh, that is used for customization. This is part of the diffable data sources where you will be passed in the item that is your model. And then 
Uh, with that, you're going to customize the cell. So here I'm customizing the cell to have um, whatever I, I pass in. So in this case, I have these four different numbers that are gonna be my initial setup here. And then it'll customize the cell on the string value and you return the cell. So that's the entire customization and the diffable data source will handle all the logic around that. So here we've set up our data source. I have my data source snapshot that I initially create. I make a section that I'm calling, I have this main section string, and then I add the numbers in for that section and I apply that particular snapshot to the data source. So when I'm running this, I initially have, as you can see, these four different items and then the insert and removes work kind of as you expect. If I hit the insert button, I'm inserting new items. And this works again the exact same way uh, as the other uh, APIs worked with the NS Collection View ones. And they're actually using the same diffable data source uh, snapshot. So um, the snapshot here, this NS diffable data source snapshot, is used between both. Uh, the NS Table View APIs and the NS Collection View APIs. So the API really is the exact same as it was before, where you're adding a section or an item, and then you apply that snapshot when you want that change. So let me just go back here and I can insert new items, I can remove the first one, I can insert new ones, and you get the idea. So that's really the only main changes that we had for NS Table View uh, purposes but there are two useful sort of changes to know about for customizing or creating NS table views in AppKit. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and share it with your friends. Ways to contribute and additional information are in the description. I'll see you next week.